Consistency of cement refers to its ability to retain a specific water content and maintain a desired workable state. It is typically measured using the VCAT apparatus and is important for ensuring uniformity in India concrete mixing and construction. Consistent cement helps achieve reliable strength and durability in concrete structures. This test is conducted using the steps outlined in Indian Standard 4031 Part 4, and sampling is performed in accordance with Indian Standard 3535. The instruments used for this test is the VCAT apparatus, it is used for the consistency test of cement, includes components such as handle, moving rod with a weight, a base, a VCAT scale, and a needle. This apparatus conforms to the Indian Standard Code number 5531, with a standard weight of the moving accessory being 300 gram, plus or minus 1 gram. After attaching the needle, there should be a vertical clearance of approximately 50 mm, and the scale must have markings of at least 0 to 50 mm. Second, the consistency plunger should have a length of 50 mm and a diameter of 10 mm. It must be made from brass in accordance with the Indian standard IS4170. The third instrument is a weighing balance with an accuracy of 0.1 and a measuring capacity of 1000 to 5000 grams as needed. The fourth item is a set of gauging trowels that conform to Indian Standard Code 10086. We also require a VCAT mold with a non-porous glass plate. We also need items such as light mineral oil, standard weight, cylindrical measuring jar, stopwatch, a humidifier, and dry and wet hydrometer. Maintain the room temperature is 27 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity should not be less than 65%. To measure this we use a dry and wet hygrometer. The relative humidity is determined by finding the difference between the wet and dry temperatures and referring to a graph provided by the manufacturer's company. Certainly, here's the procedure for the consistency test of cement organized I following the specified sequence of steps. Firstly begin by oiling the VCAT mold to prevent the cement paste from sticking to it during the test. Carefully take approximately 400 gm sample of cement and ensure it is free from any lumps or impurities by using a gauging trowel. Next weigh the required quantity of potable or distilled water by percentage of quantity of cement. For example we take 30%. It's crucial to maintain precise measurements during this step. Then next create a central pond within the dry cement. Gradually add the pre-weighed water to the cement and thoroughly mix the two components until you achieve a consistent paste. Keep a close eye on the clock during the mixing process. Ensure that the time between adding water to the dry cement and commencing the filling of the mold falls between 3 to 5 minutes.
Fill the mold in 3 step with gently shaking. Place the VCAT mold on a non-porous plate and proceed to fill it with the prepared paste. Make sure to fill the mold in 3 steps while gently shaking it. This will help eliminate any trapped air within the paste. After completely filling the mold, smoothen the surface of the paste to make it level with the top of the mold. You can slightly shake the mold to ensure there are no air bubbles. At this point you can take a reading. If the result is satisfactory means that the VCAT plunger penetrates to a depth of 5 to 7 mm from the bottom of the mold, your consistency test is achieved. If the result does not meet the standard consistency, you can make adjustments to the water percentage and repeat the test. Continue this process until the standard consistency is achieved as defined, which allows the VCAT plunger to penetrate to a point 5 to 7 mm from the bottom of the VCAT mold during the test. Here these steps are help you perform the consistency test for cement accurately. For this cement, we added 120 ml water and result shows 6 mm penetrate. Therefore we can say our consistency is 30% of given sample. The use of this test is, for quality control, for workability assessment, for setting time prediction, for strength development, and also for research work. Thank you.